We are halfway through the Tuk Tuk tournament and are currently at the midway point in Candy, where all of our Tuk Tuks are getting a bit of TLC, ready to hit the road again. So far, this adventure has been mad, exhilarating, fun. It's all about the adventure. But also tiring and a little stressful. This is not what we needed at all. We've seen some incredible places, spending our time in and around New Aurelia. And doing our best to complete quests and challenges to gain points, which will decide our place in the leaderboard, where 60 other teams are also competing for their place at the top. Go, 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 go! Thanks for joining us for another episode where we're discovering more incredible places. Hanging out with new friends. Pretty strange, everything. Pushing our limits in uncomfortable situations. Woo! Why am I doing this? Oh, I've got damage. And nearly getting into a pickle with an overly inquisitive elephant. The elephant wanted to come and charge at us. You're very good I'm shaking so much. So today is the rest day. I say rest day. For me, it's a work day, but it's nice and chill. All teams have come back together in Candy after all the adventures in the first half of the tournament. And this is a great moment to be able to share each other's stories and experiences so far. And last night there was a presentation where some teams won physical items <laughs> if they've achieved a certain amount of gems and achievements. So that was super fun. This morning, the amazing team at Tuk Tuk Rentals are here getting everyone's Tuk Tuk tuned up and fixed, ready for the last half of the tournament. They are extremely busy getting over 60 Tuk Tuks repaired and fit for travel. And our little Tuk Tuk has had a few adjustments too, like our lights weren't working properly, reverse stick, handbrake, and the gear wires. So the mechanics have done a wonderful job to get her ready for more adventures. The rest day is over and we have now left Candy. We've driven around 30 to 40 minutes outside and we're now on a little hike, a lovely morning stroll to a waterfall that's in the area. I think it's called Sinhale Waterfall. And this is one of the location challenges. It's worth 10 points. Woo! Well, I think I've got a leech on my foot already. But our route for the day, we're heading from Candy to Ella. The plan is to spend the night in Ella and then after we'll head down to Yala. We'd like to do a safari there and then along the south coast, eventually ending up in Colombo, which is where the final day is of the Tuk Tuk tournament. That is where all teams will cross the finish line. So this is the last half of the challenge and I would really like to be a little bit higher in the leaderboard. <laughs> coming uh, in a water pool and no people nothing it's only us it's nice time it's very jungle area this area this people and give me too much plastic every day yeah guys if you're gonna come visit these beautiful areas just make sure you take your rubbish away with you so it's ready and beautiful for the next people to come and enjoy the space it's a Sri Lankan and very beautiful okay we are moving on swiftly to the next location challenge I feel like with the Tuk Tuk tournament it's really easy to want to rush places and try to complete as many challenges and quests as possible but it's still so important to remember to enjoy the places and still take your time and soak it all in you know especially if you're only here for two weeks in the country because there's so much that you want to appreciate and just take it all in Woo! As we bend and weave around majestic mountains and outstanding views, it finally hits us how you can win the tournament. I'm not going to give anything away here, just in case you too come to join the tournament one year, 
but I will say this, it's very complex. There are many different levels to the game and you really have to be all in and dedicate all your time to the challenges, which for us, we would rather enjoy the journey and see the true Sri Lanka, not having to rush or stress, because after all, it's not so much about the destination, but the journey it takes to get there and the experiences and memories you make along the way. But the rain was fast approaching and we knew it would catch up with us soon and slow down our pace a little. But the rain was a welcome relief from the heat and we watched as the road danced with steam. For a reminder about slowing down and not rushing our journey, we followed for a few kilometers this crumpled bus being towed after what looked like a fatal accident. Let this be a reminder to us all to take things steady, sensibly, and be respectful of others around us. So we've just arrived to Dunahinda Falls and it's just stopped raining, so it's perfect timing. We just went to the ticket counter and I was gonna pay for the foreigner ticket because they didn't want to give me local price because that's just how it is some places. So Lahiri was like, okay, well give me a foreign ticket as well because she's my wife, so we have to be equal. They refused for Lahiri to pay foreigner price, foreigner ticket, are we both getting yeah. foreign tickets? Now, what the end? How to get that? We are to Lanka. Eh? The man is Lanka. We said the end. We are bandling the mama. We are now come report to you. Oh, are you not coming? We are bandling the man. So then it took a little while and now we've both had the equal price ticket because it's just silly like if your husband's free and the wife pays how much. Also it seems like all of our camera gear is failing at the moment. Like my phone it loses charge super quick, the drone is losing signal all the time and now our GoPro one of the batteries has just completely stopped working so it's like everything is failing on us. But it's all good, we're staying positive, we keep continuing on and at least the rain has stopped so we can still film. So we actually drove past Dunahinda Falls on our honeymoon when we were going from Ella to Candy and I remember when we drove past it was so so busy, there were like hundreds of people at the entrance and now as we're walking here like all the vendors are closed for example and we've seen just like a handful of people here. It's so crazy how the seasons really affect the tourist flow and just like any hikes that we go on we have a new friend and she's just keeping this monkey at bay from me. This muffing monkey up there. I'm sure everyone knows by now how I am with these macaque monkeys thanks to Dambula Temple. <laughs> when the clouds are sitting in the mountains like that it's just so magical. And when we were driving here and there was all the rain, the road had been really, really hot before because we had so much sun this morning. And as soon as the rain came, all of the steam was coming off of the road and it looked so amazing. It was like a magical land or something. And that combined with all the clouds in the mountains here. Ooh. This is so beautiful. Literally everywhere you go in Sri Lanka is just beauty everywhere. This has actually been quite a lovely accessible hike to the waterfall so I can see why in the peak season it's so busy and it attracts so many people because it's quite easy to get to. I mean some of it you have to like dodge around the rocks and hold on like probably right now and I can hear it seems like we're getting a lot closer 
and it sounds so loud. I guess because we've just had so much rain coming down as well in this area that it's even more ferocious than it usually is. Noon Hinder Falls. Okay, we just got our first glimpse of the waterfall. It's just in front of us here and it definitely looks like the scariest waterfall we've ever been to. The colour is like this murky brown and it's just thundering on the rocks at the bottom there. Amazing, what a sight. <coughs> it's crazy how quickly time flies when we're doing this tuk-tuk tournament. We just finished at the waterfall. It's now just gone four o'clock, but we stopped at this really lovely lady. She waited for us so that she could serve us belly mal tea. And it's really lovely. And now we're heading back to the tuk-tuk, see if we have any more time to do any more challenges. And now we're heading back to the tuk-tuk to see if we have any more daylight left to do any challenges on the way into Ella. But I'm not sure how long it's gonna take us to get there. Plus, we are very, extremely low on petrol because yesterday we gave away our petrol reserve. We had in a little bottle, we gave that away. So now we have none and we have already turned our reserve that's in the tuk-tuk. So we're gonna be pretty screwed if we run out of petrol going up into Ella. Good morning everyone. Last night we've spent the night in beautiful Ella. This is just a stop off for us because today we're heading down south. We've actually explored a lot of Ella when we were on our honeymoon. So we did all of the major attractions, but there's one place that I really want to go to whilst we're here. It's on the road leading out of Ella and that is the cave pools. And also our handbrake hasn't been working for the whole of the tournament. So every time we park our tuk-tuk, whether it's on a slope or even if it's on like a flat surface, we always have to put loads of rocks by the wheels. So our tuk-tuk doesn't roll away, especially where we parked last night. Because we're in Ella, there's loads of hills everywhere. So we've just put like 10 rocks under each wheel so it doesn't roll away. <laughs> Stop the rain coming. Yeah. Okay. So our first stop of the day, we have come to Ravenna's Cave. Well, we're not quite there. We're having to climb all of these steps all the way up to the cave. Oh my, I nearly fell over. And of course, just like everywhere in this area, there's always a load of steps. <laughs> but it's good. It gets the exercise in. Let's go. Let's go. That's a lot of stairs. My heart is like boom, boom, boom. I feel like with this tuk-tuk tournament, we're so busy trying to get to each place and try to get as many points as possible, even though we're kind of failing. <laughs> Go, 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 go! That's fine, but I'm not doing as much research as I would usually do. So when we get to these places, it's always a surprise. Like if I'd done research, we would know to expect a million stairs this morning. <laughs> Woo! I love it. It's all about the adventure. Nearly there, Rue. <laughs> How are you feeling? There, there. <laughs> honey, honey. Happy Yamuda? Let's go. We got this. Oh, it's kind of spooky up here and very smelly. We've reached Ravenna's cave. Ooh. Oh, what's that? And it's definitely not how I expected. I thought it was going to be massive, but it's just this kind of small cave up the mountain. Still pretty impressive that it's been found. And I don't know if that's rats I can hear or bats. Either way, not my favorite. <laughs> oh, it's dark up here, isn't it? It's a nice house. Yeah, it's Ravenna's house. Uh, Oh my god. Oh, and I'm down. Oh, that really hurt my back. I fell on the rock. 
camera look at No, I switched the camera off just as I fell, so I don't think I got it. Oh, I've got damage. Huh? Yeah, I can feel my skin's come off. Yeah, oh. Okay. <sighs> oh my god, I actually fell on that rock. On my spine. Oh. <sighs> I thought, I, I literally thought as I was down that I wasn't going to stop and I was just going to keep rolling down the hill. Good job you caught me, Rue. Oh my God, don't let me fall again. Oh my God, my back is so painful. No challenge is worth your life. <laughs> I think I'm being too extreme, but it's so painful. I've got my arm, this arm and my spine. I feel like we had a really good start for the day and a really good mentality. And after my fall, I think it's just slowed our pace down so much. But for anywhere that I could have fallen, I fell at the top of the cave on this protruding rock that was coming out of the ground. And I just slammed my spine on that rock. <laughs> I'm laughing about it, but I am in pain. But I think I'm being just a big baby. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put the camera down now so I don't fall down again. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, as I fell... I was carrying all the camera gear, so I had our big camera, the GoPro, and the phone. Yeah, the camera survived too. It's got a few damage points, but it's okay. It's lucky, actually. It's a bit muddy. <laughs> oh, We've had so many issues recently with our camera gear, like it's failing or it's becoming faulty. So the fact that I've just fallen and smashed all the camera gear on the floor, hopefully that won't affect the rest of our filming. Our next stop of the day we've just reached Ravana Falls. It's actually on the map for some gems. So we've stopped here but it's absolutely crazy. There's monkeys everywhere, there's dogs everywhere, the traffic's insane. And we've got some friends we're going to collaborate with. We get three extra points. Okay, let's go on to the next challenge. So all part of the Tuk Tuk tournament is pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and doing these challenges. So we've now come to the cave pools. Well, we're not quite there yet. We're on a hike. I've just got geared up. That's the hole. No way. <laughs> And uh, this is this is probably going to be one of the hardest things I've done since coming to Sri Lanka. And I think this is the only guide we've ever had whilst travelling in Sri Lanka. We've always done things independently. So this is definitely going to be pushing us out of our comfort zones. And I'm really not comfortable about this at all. But that's the whole experience. So let's embrace it and we'll be fine. Okay, this is an adventure. I've wanted to do this for so long. You see, you're here right now. I'm going down. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm fine. It's really wet down here, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Woo. Oh yes, it's dark down here. Where, where now? Where do we go now? Down there! Okay, we're going down here next. Why am I doing this? <laughs> you good, Ron? Yep, it's fine. That's where we're going. Okay, it opens up down there. I love your positivity. <laughs> Who discovered this? That's what I want to know. Who was like, oh yeah, you know what? We're going to go down on these rocks. Like, I'm not exaggerating here. This is quite intense. Okay, where's my Oh, it's wet. Oh. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, so we're going to go down here. Oh, it's wet. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. 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 Reaction. We're here. We're down. Sorry. <laughs> oh, We're going down. Are you good? Are you good, Ron? Oh. Oh wow. Yeah. This 
is narrow. <laughs> oh, there's a bat in here! Yeah, hey, Flying in my face. Wowler! Yeah, that's why I got it. Wowler, Wowler. Wowler, Tiena, There's a bat flying in my face. Oh, 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 oh
shaking so much. But your driving is very good. That's why otherwise someone come in now. Yeah. That was insane. I'm literally shaking so much. Like we had to swerve super quickly because the elephant wanted to come and charge at us and the lorry saw what happened. So the big lorry stopped to help and he reversed so that we could get around the elephant. Yeah. That was scary. I don't want to be out here on my own. So there's four of us tuk-tuks, we're all stopped here because there's another massive elephant down the road and we're all just too scared to go, but she seems like okay. She looks pretty chill, like... I don't really know how you read an elephant. Go and talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the elephant whisperer. Right? No, no, I'm probably the most scared out of all you guys. I'm shaking so much, like this is insane. Wow. We're all just standing here like, what do we do? <laughs> Should we all just go for it, like as a group? I don't know what to do. We picked up an orange, so if anything happens, we just chuck the orange. We have some bananas in case as well. Great! <laughs> that's. <laughs> possibly go wrong. <laughs> we have bananas, we'll be alright. She won't smell them or anything. Who's in front? Oh, they're at the front. Yeah, yeah. I think we just go as a prank. I think we'll take a shot. I'm gonna go just in front of you yeah. guys, so you're, oh. you're fine. <laughs> No one stole! No, no, go! Yeah, let's go! Go, 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 She's just really interested in everyone. We spent the rest of the evening exploring a market in Kataragama with some new friends and convincing them to try the infamous fruit, wood apple. It's really dry, not... Dinner. Yeah, I don't know if it's meant to be dry. That was a lot. It's a very strange everything. See you next time for our final episode of the Tuk Tuk Tournament. Bye for now. Woo!